Guys, we're just going to do a quick review today on how to deploy the X-Series Zoll Monitor as an AED as we've been practicing in the pit crew CPR classes. I know not everybody got a chance to get to those classes, so hopefully this will bring you up to speed. <clears throat> There's a couple different thoughts uh, out there, but basically if we get this thing turned on and um, we get the pads put on the patient, the first thing that you'll notice here is that we have a dotted line. We don't see what's going on. In order to get to see what is in pads mode, we have to go to this top soft key up here and cycle through until we hit pads. Now once we have the pads on, we can just go straight to AED mode by hitting analyze rhythm. Stand clear. Press shock. Okay, so what this has done has analyzed our rhythm for us. CPR. It's administered a shock at a predetermined uh, amount of 120 joules on the first one, 150 on the second, 200 on the third. The benefits of doing this is it takes a couple of pieces of guesswork out of it. Number one is determining whether something is actually shockable or not, which for you know us paramedics it probably won't be a problem, but uh, this is something that can be utilized by EMTs as well. Um, the other thing that it does for us is that it keeps a CPR timer. As you'll see down here, we have a small clock that's counting down. This is what's going to direct how the code runs. Um, two minutes on the chest, and then we're going to be prompted to analyze rhythm again, and at which point we will do, and then switch uh, compressors so that we minimize our interruptions to be less than 10 seconds. Some other things you'll notice here is that it's going to count the number of uh, shocks that we've given. So that's also a good thing to keep up with uh, for reporting purposes. And up here, this is going to be a timer that's going to just tell you how long the machine has been on in total. You should know that just turning the machine off and then turning it back on will not reset this timer. There's a certain period of time uh, that has to go by in order for this whole thing to recycle. And if you turn this off and turn it back on and go into AED mode, it's still going to show you the number of shocks that you had previously, and it's going to keep the joules at whatever your last shock was. So if our last shock was 120, if I turn this off and turn it back on, it's still going to come back at 150 uh, until that cycle runs out. Another thing for you to notice too is that uh, we also still have the ability in AED mode to uh, check the drugs that we've given. Um, if we've given an epi, we can just go ahead and timestamp that and it'll do it for us in our code summary. Stop CPR. Two minutes is up. We're stopped. Hands are off. And clear. Press shock. Okay, so we got another shock advised. As you see, it's moved up to 150. You'll see Perform the total number goes off. to two. The timer comes back to two minutes to start counting down for us. And basically that's how this is gonna work. The next one's set up for 200 joules. If you wanna get out of AED mode or if you accidentally press energy select, it will take you out of AED mode back into manual mode. So uh, if I press up on this, this is gonna take me back to just my regular biphasic monitor. So if there's a rhythm change for some reason and you want to change the amount that you're giving rather than what the AED would give, then that's something that you can do uh, to do that as well. And you see this is going to take us back to our regular monitor here. If the person recodes again, stand clear. we could just press this button and it's going to take us back up to where we were joules wise. Press shock. Analyze shock rhythm. Perform CPR. <clears throat> That's your immediate defibrillation. Now if the first crew that comes in has the uh, E-series monitor, uh, the ambulance crew should still bring in their X-Series monitor and you guys can switch over um, as, as soon as they get there if, if that's helpful for you as well. So those are some of the key functions we just want to make sure that everybody's aware of from EMT, paramedic, um, that anybody should be able to use this device if they end up at uh, the monitor side of the leg for training.